Hello video editors. Welcome to Solly Tutorials. Want to become a professional video editor? This is a great step. Well done for deciding to learn with this complete Filmora 13 video editing course. Filmora 13 is the king of video editors, with all the tools you need and more. I've been using it for over 7 years, and I've taught and helped many people learn it too. In this free course, I'll show you everything you need to know to become a perfect video editor, from basic to advanced techniques. I'll also teach you tips and tricks for Filmora 13 and video editing in general. We'll cover everything from importing and exporting videos to super slow motion, speed ramping, color matching, color correction, green screen removal and replacement, background removal without green screen, and object removal. We'll also learn how to use advanced AI portrait and smart cutout tools, AI masking, AI image stylizer, motion tracking, stabilization, lens correction, photo and video animations, transitions, effects, titles, VFX text, and more. Of course, no video editing course would be complete without covering intros and outros, stickers, split screens, background music, sound effects, and AI music generation. We'll cover all of that too. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about stock footage. I'll reveal some interesting footage about Filmora's stock media partners. We'll also cover creating and customizing 3D text, and I'll share some very important tips and tricks to help you avoid common video editing obstacles. I'll even show you some software settings that will help your system perform better and enable smoother video editing. Finally, I'll teach you how to create custom thumbnails and export videos for different devices with the best settings. We've covered a lot in this course, but we've tried to teach Filmora 13 in depth. I hope it fulfills your dream of taking your video editing confidence level from zero to hero. So, without further ado, let's dive right in and save you some precious time. So let's now apply effects to the video in Filmora 13. To apply effects, go to effects tab and click on it. Within the effects tab you will find separate sections for all the effects. As you can see Filmora has created a recommended folder within effects, and within it they have given two different sections, a trending section, and a new section. In it you will find many new and trending effects that you can use in your videos. Filmora 13 is a powerful video editing software that offers a wide variety of effects to help you create stunning and professional looking videos. Also there are folders for video effects, filters and LUT, overlays, audio effects, New Blue FX, and Boris FX, which has many sections and effects inside it. If you want to know what effects are, so I would like to give you a brief appreciation. Effects are tools that can be used to add visual interest, transitions, and other enhancements to your videos. Filmora 13 offers a wide variety of effects, including filters, transitions, text effects, and more. So now I'm going to show you how to use effects in Filmora 13. In this part of Filmora 13 complete tutorial, I will first apply basic effects to the video, and then apply effects with masking over the video in pro mode. So for that, I go to the download section, within effects. Here I have all the effects that I have downloaded from the effects given in Filmora 13. With the search bar at the top you are given the option to filter effects. Through this you can filter the effects free, paid, and all type of effects. If you select free in this filter, all free effects will be filtered. And if you filter it as paid, it will only filter paid effects for you. I made it a paid filter, so I would like to use this effect from the paid effects. So for this, I drag and drop the effect onto the timeline. To increase or decrease the duration of the effect, you can drag the effect by holding the start or end handle. To preview an effect, simply play your video. The effect will be applied to the media clip during playback. And in the same way, drag and drop the effects you want to use on the timeline. Make your videos amazing and perfect with these amazing effects. Effects are a great way to add visual interest to your videos. They can help you create a mood, set a scene, and transition between different parts of your video. I will quickly drag and drop some different effects as per my choice in this project. Hope it will be helpful for you.
Once you drag and drop all the effects, be sure to preview them once and modify them if they need to be modified. For example, I think I need to edit this effect in my video. So to edit the effect, double click on the effect. Go to the video effect panel. Here you will find the effect settings. Here in the settings of this effect we only have an option for opacity. So I will adjust its opacity according to my video. I think this effect should be around 50% opacity according to my video. And in the same way I double click on the effect I want to set, and set that effect. So this was some simple and basic way to apply some effects. Now I'm going to show you how you can professionally apply effects through masking to any video. So for that, double click on the effect. Go to the effects panel. Here you will see masking icon, click on it. Inside you will find several masking tool options. Among them are rectangle mask, circle, and custom mask options. But I would like to use the custom mask option out of these options. As soon as you click on it, you will see a pen tool like shape. Through this we will create the effect mask. For example, you can see that I have a child standing up in the video below of this effect. I want to mask the effect around it. So for this, I will use the pen tool to make a masking selection around the child's body. And finally, the start and end points of the mask have to touch each other. So this will create a mask effect like this. You can see that I now only have the effect in the inner area of the mask, and the effect around the mask has been removed. But it did not end here. Now we are going to make some necessary settings for it. Go to mask settings, here you will be able to see different mask settings, such as extend mask, blur strength, opacity, invert option and more. If you want, you can also invert this mask by pressing the invert button. This will invert your effect from the inner area of the mask to the outer area. And pressing the invert button again will restore the mask. Now do some more mask settings. Mandatory add blur strength to your mask. This will add a transparency to your masking, and make the mask appear smoother. So after doing this, you can see how awesome our masking effect looks. Our effect is only applied outside the body, and there is no effect in the body area. If you later decide that you only want our effect to be on the body, go back to the invert mask option and click the invert mask button again. So the mask effect will be inverted. So let's learn how to add titles and text in Filmora 13. But before that let me tell you what titles is and why it is important to add it. Whether you're creating a cinematic masterpiece or a simple home video, titles are an essential part of adding polish and professionalism to your work. In this complete tutorial, I'll walk you through the process of adding and customizing titles in Filmora 13, making it easy for you to create eye-catching intros, outros, and text overlays for your videos. To begin, open your Filmora 13 project and navigate to the Titles tab located in the tabs at the top of the interface. This will open the Titles library, which houses a vast collection of title templates, ranging from simple text styles to elaborate animations. Take your time to browse through the library and find a title template that suits your video style and theme. Preview each template by clicking on its thumbnail. Filmora 13 has all the titles that will meet the demand and requirements of your projects. Among these titles, there are plain text, VFX text, 3D titles, lower thirds, subtitles, and many more title styles, which will take a lot of time to explain. So some of these titles will be used in this video. And once you've found the perfect one, click on it to download it. For example I am downloading this subtitle. After downloading, drag and drop it onto the timeline where you want it to appear in your video. Once the title template is added to your timeline, double-click on it to open the text editing options. Here, you can modify the text content, font style, font size, color, and alignment to match your preferences. If you need to add subtitles to your videos, this free subtitle can play a good role in your project. Also, if you want to apply animations in your subtitle or any title, then for this, click on the animation section next to the basic section of the text. 
Here you will find several text animations. To apply any animation, double click on the animation, then the animation will be applied. Play around with the motion effect settings to create a captivating title sequence. Once you practice these basic methods, you'll be able to learn how to customize them. And in the same way I also drag and drop some VFX text. And to edit it, I will follow the same method. Double click on it to open the text editing options. Here, you can modify the text content, font style, font size, color, and alignment to match your preferences. You can easily reposition the title on the timeline by dragging it to the desired location. Additionally, you can adjust the duration of the title by dragging its edges on the timeline. And there are many more titles in the same Filmora 13 that you can watch right now. Hope you can enjoy this moment with me while watching it. I consider it mandatory for you to use some of these titles. It is a must try for you. Likewise if you want to add openers to your videos, and obviously everyone wants to add openers and outros. An outro is a short video clip that is typically used at the end of a video to provide a conclusion or call to action. Outros can be used to summarize the main points of the video, thank the viewer for watching, and encourage them to visit your website or social media channels. An opener is a short video clip that is typically used at the beginning of a video to introduce the topic or theme of the video. Openers can be used to grab the viewer's attention and set the tone for the rest of the video. They are also a great way to brand your videos and make them more recognizable. For example I want to use this cinematic intro. So we have to keep it at the very start of the project. So first I will select this project. For selection of all projects, we use shortcut Control plus A. And then I'll drag and drop the project a little further on the timeline. So by doing this I will have an empty gap at the start of my project. Once I have a gap at the start of the timeline, so I drag and drop that intro onto the timeline. This is the editing process. Double click the title. Select the intro title and write whatever you want to write. I would write in the first box of this intro title, your intro. In its second box, I write title. And in its third box, I write here. Keep your openers and outros short and sweet. Viewers tend to lose interest quickly. So you want to make sure your openers and outros are no longer than 10 to 15 seconds. So we made a nice video intro. Now we make a wonderful outro for the end of the video. So to find the outro, I go to the outro section within the titles. I have many video outros here. I like this outro for my project. I would like to use it. To use an outro in Filmora 13, simply drag and drop it onto the timeline at the end of your video. You can then customize the outro by adding your own text, logo, or music. Double click on it to open the text editing options. Here, you can modify the text content, font style, font size, color, and alignment to match your preferences. For text editing, I follow the same method. You can write whatever text you want. For example, I wrote in my outro that, thanks for watching. Also I added my channel name Solly Tutorials. Subscribe and other outro stuff. In this outro you can see that I also have options to add videos and logos. So for this, we will drag and drop a sample video above the outro title. I will set the length of the video according to the title. Now we adjust the scale and position of this video. Double click the video. And from here adjust the scale and position of the video as per the options in the outro below. Adjust your player's zoom level from the display settings at the bottom of the player. 
This will allow you to position and scale well with a good preview. And similarly I drag and drop the second video for the second video option of this outrow. I also set the duration of this video equal to the outrow. If you need to crop the video, crop it according to your project. If you want to easily adjust the scale and position of this other video, so I will recommend you this quick method. For this, double click on the first video, and add a keyframe to it. Now right click on the same keyframe from the first video, and copy that keyframe. This will copy the scale and position of our first video via the values keyframes. Now we paste the same copied keyframe on the second video. So for that, right click on this second video. After right clicking, you will see many options. Scroll it down. Below you will find the option to paste keyframe. Click on the paste keyframe option. So you can see that our second video is adjusted on top of the first video. Now we will just change its position. So for that, I double click on this second video, and we'll move this video position to second option of outrow. So that's how we easily adjusted both videos over the outrow. Now we import a logo. I imported my YouTube channel logo. I also drag and drop this logo on top of this outrow on the timeline. And in the same way I adjust the size and position of this logo inside the transform. The subscribe section in Filmora 13 is a feature that allows you to easily add a call to action to your videos encouraging viewers to subscribe to your YouTube channel. To use the subscribe section in Filmora 13, simply drag and drop it onto the timeline where you want it to appear in your video. You can then customize the subscribe section by adding your own text, logo, and animation. By adding a subscribe, you can make it easy for viewers to find and subscribe to your channel, which can help you grow your audience and reach a wider range of people. Using titles in Filmora 13 is a great way to add professionalism, polish, and personality to your videos. With a wide variety of templates to choose from and easy customization options, you can create titles that perfectly match the style and tone of your videos. So next time you're editing a video, be sure to check out the titles library in Filmora 13.